Hello and welcome to Miss Enjoy's Spiritual Life Advice Channel. I'm Miss Enjoy and this is a daily fast five for love relationships. I will pull five cards and see what the overall energy is for you. My Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. Okay, four. We're going to swim right on through Wednesday, June 19th. We're going to try to get in and out in about five minutes, but I'm not making any promises. Hello to my returning subscribers. I appreciate you and I love you. And to my new watchers and viewers, thank you and welcome everybody. If you have not yet done so, please take this time to like and subscribe. And then if you hit the notification bell, that'll let you know when your daily readings are up. Okay? All right. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into your energy, my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Wednesday, June 19th. We're going to ask spirit gods and goddesses, guardian angels, and watchers to please be here to deliver a positive message for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Wednesday, June 19th, Spirit. All right, for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Wednesday, June 19th, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Wednesday, June 19th, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Wednesday, June 19th. Okay. All right, we have the Hierophant card, the Page of Cups. Oh, the Four of Staffs. The King of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, so you're doing your best. You're 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 praying about a situation. You're meditating on a situation. Um, you're trying to look at it from a new point of view, um, with a, or a new love coming in, or so you have a renewed relationship or a or new offer of love. Okay, with the Page of Cups here. You're looking at the situation differently. Um, I'm getting that this is definitely a soulmate or a relationship connection that's going on or a marriage. And I'm getting that you're really letting go with the King of Swords. You're cutting out some past energy. And that's great. So you're doing what you have to do. You're healing and you're moving forward. And that's great. That's awesome. You're in a good energy for the day. You're in a good energy for the day. You decided that you're going to work everything out. You're leaving the past behind you. You're celebrating about the new and renewed love and feelings that you got going on. You've been praying about it. And you're feeling pretty good. Okay? Awesome. We're going to pull Moonology Oracle Advice Cards. A fiery climax approaches. We talked about this. A time to give rather than take. And you had this card yesterday. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. You definitely had this card yesterday. So keep moving forward. You're doing the great, you're doing the right thing. Like I said, it says it's a time to give rather than take. We know again that the situation is gonna wrap up soon or come to an end. There will be a conclusion. I think that was one of your cards from yesterday. But once again, you have your full moon in Pisces card. Okay, that says balance spirituality and practicality. And like I was telling you yesterday, whatever this situation is, it's requiring re you to make this, make a decision and handle it using your head and your heart space and chakras. Don't let, you know, one, you have to use both. You can't just go based on love and you can't just go based on, on what you, on, on, uh, what you think. Okay, you have to do, you have to have a good combination of both. Most, some people say, my, you know, it's mind or heart decision. You have to have a good balance when making decisions, okay? Because if you use your head to make a decision and it causes you heartache and pain, then you're not going to be balanced either way or vice versa. So I need you to, you know, clearly think it through. Think about when you have been with the Hierophant card. You've definitely been praying. You've definitely been seeking higher counsel. You're here watching tarot card readings of the Page of Cups. You really want things to be fresh and new and just kind of start over and and you want to just be able to move on and be happy. And so you're cutting out. You're going to, you decided you're going to just let go of whatever it was that happened in the past with the King of Swords to the Six of Cups. Okay? And that's wonderful. All right? Pisces, um, keep moving forward. Like I said, use your heart and head. Balance spirituality and practicality to make this decision. And what you're going to do and how you're going to handle things moving forward. But be careful. Like I said, a fiery climax approaches. So... It, there's basically going to be a pretty quick uh, and, and abrupt 
resolution or ending or wrapping up of this situation, okay? And it also says it's a time to give rather than take. So, you know, be forgiving. Be forgiving and be helpful and try to do the best you can to work yourself through this situation. All right, Pisces, you can do it. And I'll talk to you again about this on Thursday. Love you guys. Bye-bye. A list of services provided and instructions for making appointments, payments, or donations is provided in the channel description as well as in the description of each video. If you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and share. And always remember to enjoy life.